the bridge. Man's search for his full awakening requires that he cross a bridge that spans a vast distance. This mystical bridge concealed from common eyes is a trial that beckons those who dare to see what exists outside of the grand illusion. This trial will challenge the seeker and force him to explore the deepest corners of his being. You know, I'm excited because it's almost time for us to take the journey, man. If you haven't gotten registered, be sure to get registered before November the 12th when we start that thing off. You know, there there are three things that that you must know when when taking the journey. And let me let me back up some. First off, let, let's talk about what I'm even talking about. Because y'all hear me say this word, you know, let's take the journey and all this stuff. And I'm sure some of y'all are like, what is he really talking about, man? You have to understand that that the far majority of people are are in a sleep like state, man. In other words, in other words, not saying they're not conscious of what I'm saying is they're they're in a state where they're getting up every day and they're going through the motion and that motion will repeat itself for the next thousand years if nobody stops them. The only thing that's going to stop them from waking up and going through this motion is death, right? And at that point is, is when they'll realize, just before death, they'll realize that they had all this power to do all these things. They could have been, you know, you know, this type person, could have owned this type business, could have been in this type healthy relationship, could have been in this type shape, could have made this type of money, could have seen these places on the globe. They'll realize that, right? But you got to understand, when, when I'm talking about the journey... Like there are some people in that state of mind that have absolutely no idea that there is a way out. You know, you know, you know, they get up and, and they go through this motion. And, and for the most part, they, they they'll complain for a while for, you know, between 20 and 30 years old, they'll, they'll complain about life. But around 30, it, it'll just become the norm if they if they continue to sleep, man. And they'll just live their lives in in in, in, in acceptable misery. I'll call that right. But but then there are some people in, in that group of people where where they'll 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 observe the people that are moving slightly different. That are they'll they will observe the people that that are moving to their own own uh, uh drum beat, that are calling their own plays, that are that are living life just outside of the scope of what's 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 accepted. You know, and they'll say, you know what, like like how are they moving like that? And for these people, like these people need to understand that, that the way to get to that, that point is to go through a phase, a phase of, 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 of trials and understanding is to go through that journey. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's a way to get across there. So, so that's really who I'm talking to when I'm talking about the journey, the people that are saying, you know what, man, like, like I, 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 I love my job, man, but I know there's more. I love my hometown, but I know there's more. I, I, I love, you know, the amount of money, but I, I know I can do more. I, I know there's more for me to, to, to obtain and to achieve. These people have to understand, man, it's just a series of you traveling a certain path, learning a certain thing. And I'm telling you, brother, th there are just some, some things that a man must know before taking the journey, man. But there, there is a way out, man. And it, and it, 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 I don't want to use the word bothers. It it pains me, man. It gives me it gives me it gives me pain to see people in this state to be aware that there is something else and not understand how to get there. The journey is how to get there. Man must take like like you can't get there without crossing that bridge. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the thing is, a lot of people want to make it seem like it's just a matter of uh, of stepping through a threshold and now your life is different. But brother, if it was that easy, everybody would be there. Everybody would be there, man. So I want I want to talk today, today brothers and sisters, because there'll be sisters on the journey with us too, brothers. Come uh, come November, come next week, a uh, couple of weeks. What one thing, man, that that you must understand. When taking this journey, when, when trying to find that 2.0, 3.0 version of yourself, man, is that you have to be all in. You know what I'm saying? When, when I talk about crossing that threshold and headed toward that bridge to get to that, you have to be like, there's no patty caking with this. Because, because like I said, like I said a couple of videos ago, now, now you're a man of, 
you're a double-minded man. You have to be all in. In other words, when you say, you know what, I'm going down this path and I'm going to find this highest version of myself, there's no looking back. Like that, that, that old world, you, you can give that, that old way of thought, that old mindset, that old drone mindset. You, you, you have to just leave it to rest, man. You have to be all in. And the reason I say you have to be all in, brothers, is because a, a lot of what you're going to experience on this journey not, not even on the journey, even, even once you complete the journey, it still has to be a place of, of you being all in. You can't be of, of divided mind in no way, shape, form, or fashion. You have to be all in. You, you got to say, I'm going to complete this mission, and, and there's, no other, there's no other alternative. And the reason I say that, man, is because some of the things you're going to go through, bro, you're, you're going you're gonna to be tried to the point where, where you want, you're going to want to give up. A lot of things in life will try you, man, as, as far as, you know, as far as, uh, uh, you know, testing your security, testing your, your faith, testing your trust in source, testing your judgment. And if you're not all in, you can't, you can't withstand. You can't withstand. In other words, if you leave, if you leave one foot on the other side, and you're, and you're trying to travel this path and say, okay, well, if something go wrong, then I'm just going to go back. I'm, I'm just going to retreat back to my old world and everything will be okay. But if, if that's your mindset, if you're, not, if you're not trying to pull the plug on your old life and say, you know what? I'm going to get to my destination or I'm going to die in the process. Don't even do it, brothers. Don't even do it, man. Don't, don't even make that change in life. And I'm talking about I'm talking about brothers. This is something that has to stick with you forever. You have to be all in when you make these hard decisions in life. When you make these decisions to get married, when you make these decisions to, to, to move to a different city, when you make these decisions to, to, you know, leave your job and become an entrepreneur, but it has to be all in or you're going to fail. It has to be all in or you're going to fail. I remember, I remember when I, when I first, uh, uh, when I first left corporate America, man, when I first stepped away from my cush job, man, that, that had a nice salary and had good benefit, all that great stuff. I loved my job. I, I actually enjoyed my job. I just want, I, I loved my freedom and my, and my ability to express myself greater. Right. I loved my old job, but I remember the first thing I did when I left my job was, was got my ink on my hands. And of course, my ink means the most to me. Of course, a man must know who he is and where he's going, right? A man, a man must have balance between his light and dark energy. Th these mean everything to me. But one thing they really meant to me, man, was a form of no retreat. I wanted to make, I wanted to my, I wanted to make myself less acceptable in corporate America. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wanted to be, I wanted it to be, I said, man, it, when things get hard, not if, I said, when I go through my challenges, which everybody does. I said, once you go through your challenge, I said, I want no form of retreat. I don't want to be able to say, oh man, you know what? I swung for the fence. I tried. Da, 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 da. Let me just go and get back in this corn office, a cush job and, and kick my feet up and, 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 and stack my 401k and, and get my one week vacation. Let, let me get this old life back. I said, man, once I take this new, and I do this with everything, brother. Once I take this new journey, I said, brother, there, there's no going back to that old life. I'm either going to win or I'm going to die in the process of it. And I'm telling you, man, you have to have that mentality with everything in life. With everything in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, so all in. And again, it applies to everything. Brothers getting married, brothers doing, you know, doing whatever, man, for the relocate, move, move overseas, passport, bro, passport bros and all. Whatever you're going to do, man, go all in and have no forms of retreat, brothers. Because the challenges are coming. The hard times are coming. And you're going to get past it, but you, you have to be all in. You have to be in the state. You, you have to put yourself. This is the beauty of it, bro. The, the, the benefit of being all in is putting your, putting your whole self in a situation where you have to fully trust in source. And, and to be honest, at, at, as, as hard as it can be at times, even when you're going through it, brother, it's a beautiful experience. It's, it's a high to understand. Think about this. 
to put yourself in a situation where you're saying, you know what? I, I, I've traveled this path for so long. Now I, I find myself at a dead end. I, I find myself on a cliff about to fall off. And once I fall off this cliff, the only thing that can keep me afloat is source energy. The only thing, not the money in the bank, not my parents, not the dad, not the, all these things we put security in, they, they no longer have any, any ground in certain situations in life. When you're pushing yourself, when, when you're traveling this path, that's what I'm talking about, brothers. When you put yourself in a situation, man, where nothing else can make you get, can allow you to get through it but source energy, but it can be a it can be a frightening thing. It can be scary. But at the same time, man, there's no there's no greater experience with, as far as that relation with source energy, bro. There's no greater experience. You know what I'm saying? So so man, so that's why I say, man, one of the main things you have to know, brothers, is you have to be all in. All it's, it's like this. You know, and, and this is how we need to be going forward in everything in life. If we're if we're not gonna be all in. Let's, let's not even do it, brothers. If we're not going to be all in, let's not even touch it. Let's not even put our name on it. Let's not even put our stamp on it. Don't even put a ring on it. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to go all in, brother, j- j- just stay back and stay in your old world. Stay Because you, cause you, can't, you, can't, you can't pity pat with this stuff I'm talking about, bro. Right? So that's the first thing, man. The second thing you must know, man, about, about taking this journey, brothers, is you have to be, you have to be, well, let me say it like this. You can't be scared of the dark. I'm going to say it again, bro, because I, I really want y'all to understand what I'm saying. When you're talking about leaving your old world, when you're talking about traveling this path I'm talking about, this journey, when you're talking about finding that 3.0, that 7.0 version of yourself and just keep evolving, Brothers, you cannot be scared of the dark. What do you mean, so? I mean a few things, man. I mean a couple of things, sisters. First off, when I say you can't be scared of the dark, man, is you have to understand this, bro. Traveling this path and, and, and putting yourself in this darkness, putting yourself in moments of silence, you're going to hear a lot of things, brothers. You're going to hear a lot of guidance. You're going to connect with your higher self. You'll be able to have that open communication and, and, and have that source, you know, show you how to navigate this path, show, show you how to navigate the avenues of life. You're going to see that. But at the same time in this darkness, man, you, 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 you'll be faced. You'll have to see those ugly parts of yourself too, man. When I say those ugly parts of yourself, those parts of you that really ain't by shit. Th- those parts of you that are negative, those parts of you that lack, that are lazy, those parts of you that are selfish, th- those parts of you that only think about yourself, those parts, those parts of you that have caused you to do bad things in life, harm people, rob people, do unmoral things, maybe even take life. Those things are down there as, as well, man. Like I said, when you go in that darkness, brother, there, there's, there's blessing down there. Actually, that's where the light is. The, the light is, is, is down there at the bottom of the darkness. This light energy you want, you, you have to travel that path, man. Like in the book, uh, like, like in a singular truth, I said a man, you know, to get to that destination, you have to travel through, through, through those pastures. You have to travel through those pastures, bro. There's no way around it. And the thing is, man, when you get to these, when you get to these dark spots and you see your, you see their, that, that lower vibrating uh, uh, state, you know, that, that part of you, brother, it can get, it can get hectic. When you're talking about people going into the deepest states of depression, when you talk about people thinking about deleting themselves, that's where they are. That's where they are. And, and I'm telling you something, I'm telling you something that I've experienced, not something that I've heard. I'm not telling you something I read in a book. I'm telling you when a, when a person gets to that place where they no longer want to be here, I can tell you exactly where they are on the map. I can tell you exactly where they are on the journey. They're in the pasture, brothers. They're in the pasture when they're there, man. You're faced with everything. 
And again, going back to the first point, if you aren't all in, you aren't going to make it. If you, if you aren't to the place where you say, you know what, I'm all in. Whatever comes with it, let me see myself. Let me see those parts of me, man, that I don't want to see, that trauma from growing up, those things I did. Let me see it so I, so I can fix it, so I can fix it and move forward. But if you're not all in, but then you, you, you're going to retreat. You're going to retreat. Or even worse, take yourself, take yourself out, man. Scared of the darkness, man. Another thing when I say scared of the dark, man, is you have to understand, you have to understand, man, this journey, man, and even though in November we'll be all taking this journey together, brothers, this journey is, is lonely because, because once you leave that old life and, and, and have, you know, moments of, 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 of spent in the silence, brother, you, you're going to understand that at the end of the day, I don't care how big your family reunion is. I don't care how many kids you got. I don't care how many side chicks you got. When it's all said and done, when you, when you, when you really understand what's taking place, it's just you. It's just you, man. So, so that when I talk about that darkness, I also mean just understanding that it's really just you. It's really just you. That's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people, for a lot of people, man, that, that, that are used to background noise. You have to understand it's just you, man. Another thing I mean about this darkness is you have to be able to move in spaces. You have to, you have to be able to move in spaces without really seeing what's really taking place, brothers. In other words, you, you, you have to be able to call plays with your eyes closed. You, you have to be able to walk on water. You have to be able to stand on, on your faith in, 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 that, in that source when, when nothing else is around, when you can't even see what you're standing on. In other words, let me break it down. In other words, you a lot of times, man, you have to make decisions in the dark. Meaning, 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 a lot of times you have to make decisions based on resources that you don't even have. Let me say it like that. Everybody can relate to that. And sometimes you have to make decisions based on resources you don't even have, brothers. Now I, I can think of I can think of a few businesses I've started. Where, where the money really wasn't there, but I called the play. I called the play anyway. I just called the play and walked in the dark. And as I, and as I put my foot down, source energy made sure something was right there. It might have been rough. I ain't saying it was pretty, but it was something there. There, there was something to stand on. And if, and if you can't walk in that energy, bro, you might want to stay in your old world. You might want to stay in your old world. See, a lot of people, a lot of people talk about life on the other side of this bridge. A lot of people talk about, oh, yeah, I want to get the six figures. Oh, I want to get to a milli. I want to get the back. I want to get all these things. But nobody's really willing to walk that path to get there, bro. And as a result, they talk about it their whole lives. They, they sit there on, on, on the coast, on the, on the shore and, and look at everybody else that, that, that's making it happen. It's a lot that comes with it, bro. I don't want to make it sound like it's easy. I don't want to set you up for failure, man, but I'm going to tell you, man, it's rewarding. It's rewarding, man. It's the most, it's the most fulfilling thing. Not even getting to the destination, but just traveling the path. Of, that, that part alone, just traveling that path alone, a man will fall in love with it. And it's not something that you'll do one time in your life, man. Every time you get to your milestone, brother, it's going to be a matter of time for it's time you to travel it again. Always evolving. Always expanding. That's what it's about, brothers. The third thing, brothers, is, you know, something you must know when traveling this path, man, is that you must never look back. You must never look back, brothers. And I'll be honest. Once I lived life for a little bit, once I you know, went through a few experiences, I really understood the story of, of Lot in the Bible a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I was a kid hearing that story, it was like, yeah, wife's Lot, uh, life's, uh, Lot's wife looked back and turned to a pillar of salt and did, 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 you know, hearing that from five, six, seven, eight, you know, I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a neat story. But as I got older, man, as I, as I went through some trials and tribulations and saw some things, I understood now. 
the 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 the, the power in, in in keeping forward and the danger of looking back. When you're on this path, brother, you you can't look back. Meaning, once you get to the point, because there's stages to it, once you get to the point where you fully release that old world, brother, you, you cannot retreat to it. You can, you cannot retreat to it at all, or it's almost guaranteed your, uh, 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 your demise. It's about moving forward, man. And I've said this a million different ways, a million different times, man. This is one of the things that makes people, most people, not suitable for growth. You aren't, you aren't willing to sacrifice that old life. You aren't willing to, you aren't willing to block some of those old numbers. You aren't willing to go to some of those same places, man. But but it's just it's just it's just that life in, 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 as a whole, man. Everything associated with your old life, man. Like when I say when I say every single every single part of your old life has to go back through a a filter. I'm yeah. Really think what I'm thinking, what I'm talking about, brothers. When I say everything has to be rechecked, I mean everything. There are some people, man, that have great relationships with their with their parents. And once you understand that, 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 that going back to that way of thinking is going to take you back to your demise, there are a lot of people that have to cut their parents off. They cut their parents off. I mean, I can only imagine growing up in a household, man, where, where my parents were teaching me to hate a, another person because of where they lived or the color of their skin. Or they, and they, just, they, were just, they were just standing on that. But the once I came into an understanding, if that was their way of thought, that, that would pretty much be our last conversation. Parents or not, blood or not, I don't, I don't care about that kind of stuff. It's like either you're in my tribe or you're not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm so grateful, man, that me and my family, you know, we, we, we mesh nothing but love. But brother, I'm telling you, everybody, nobody's immune, man. If me and my family didn't mesh, brother, that, that line would be drawn in the sand immediately. And the thing is, I would expect them to do the same thing to me. If they were traveling a path and, and, my, and my, my way of life, my thinking, my belief, my teaching was affecting their growth, brother, I would, I would, I would expect them to call me one day, tell them they love me, and, and see them on the other side. It's not a game, man. It's not a game to me, bro. I'm going to tell you, man, pe people can get in these circles and people can get on the internet and talk all this, all this, whatever, it's not a game to me, bro. You know, and when people when people when people don't take it as serious as me, man, I I, I don't associate with them. Because this is the thing, bro. I this is why it's so serious to me. I understand what life is like on the other side. I under I I remember. Let me say that. I remember what life was like before taking that journey. And you have to understand, man, you're not living it all. To wake up every day and live and live in a fear of, 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 of having no control, waking up of a fear of, of being subject to, to I'm telling you, brother, I remember, man. And the thing is, that that pain that I can remember, I can see it on people's face. That's why it's so serious to me. You know what I'm saying? I have consultations. I can hear it in people's voice, see it on their face. I go to the grocery store. I can see it on people's face that are pushing their carts. I can see it on people's face that are driving down the highway, leaving a place that they dread, dread coming, you know, coming from and, and going to hate going back in the morning. I see it on their face, man, of, of people in, in relationships that are miserable, Love each other, but are miserable because they don't understand the dynamic between union. I'm going to tell you, in my, in my mind, man, it's, it's impossible for a relationship to be healthy and happy if you don't really understand your true dynamic, masculine and feminine, that y'all both have power, the power in union. If you don't understand that, because I'll say this, man, if a woman would get on my nerves, if I didn't understand her reason for being in my life, I would imagine I would get on her nerves if she didn't understand the real reason for me being in her life. I'm going to tell you, brothers, I know a lot of y'all men are, are at this point. A lot of y'all are, are, are on the, on the shore and you looking. 
You look around, you see people making moves. You see people, you're like, dang, I used to work with bro. Now bro is on his own business. Now bro is doing this. Or, or me and old girl used to run the streets. And, and now she got a whole husband. She's doing this. You know, me, you know, you see people making that transition, but you're like, how do they get there? They had to travel the path, man. They, they had to do the inner work. That's the real work. That they had, they had, to, they had to briefly, you know, leave this world, this way of thinking, this, this collective consciousness, man. Go inside and do the work. Go inside and travel the path, brothers. And I'm telling you, man, a lot of brothers will get there, man. But a, a, a lot of brothers will get to that threshold and freeze up because of what it means. I'm telling you, the brothers, the only way to get there is to travel that path, man.